Hi folks, so this week we're back to looking for a good squirrel load. And this week we have the Tioki Field Dynamic High Velocity Field Loads. These are a 20 gauge load, because that's what we're testing. They're two and three quarter inch shells. They have one ounce of number fives, and they're moving at 1,220 feet per second according to the box. So let's go up to the table and we'll take a close up look at the two shotguns that we'll be using. It's the same two we've been using for this entire test, looking for this all purpose game load. And we'll come back down here to the range and we'll shoot these and see what we get. All right, so here we have the two shotguns, it's the same two shotguns that we've been using for this test. And we will use the Fioki Field Dynamics in. Once again, we have a Remington SPR 210. It's a side by side. Of course, it's a 20 gauge with a 3 inch chamber. And we have a 585 choke and they're 26 inch barrels. Above it here, we have the Stevens 512. It's a 20 gauge with a 3 inch chamber. And it has a 585 choke and it's 26 inch barrels. So let's go down to the range and see how these things pattern. So we have here a Remington SPR 220. This is a 20 gauge with a 3 inch chamber. It's a side by side. It has 26 inch barrels. And in the left barrel here, we have a choke that is choked at 585. So we'll be shooting our small game loads at a 12 inch bullseye target at 30 yards to simulate a shot at a squirrel. So let's shoot this and see what we get. See how this thing patterns. All right, let's see what we got. So here we have the target for the Tioki Field Dynamics shot from the Remington SPR 210. And we have some pellets at point of aim, but we only have 36 pellets of 170 in this load from 30 yards. That's only about 20% of the load. This would not be my first choice for squirrel hunting. So if I had another choice, I wouldn't use it. Here we have our Stevens 512. This is an over and under 20 gauge. It has a three inch chamber and it has 26 inch barrels. And today we're shooting a choke in the over barrel that is 585. We have our 12 inch bullseye target set up at 30 yards. We're gonna be patterning for squirrel loads. So that's the distance that we like to do this at. So we're gonna shoot this target and see what we get. All right, let's see what we got. Here we have the target for the Yoki Field Dynamics that we shot out of the Stevens 512, the over and under, from 30 yards. We have a good concentration of pellets at point of aim. We have a good spread of pellets around the outside edges. We have 52 pellets of 170 in this 12 inch circle from 30 yards. That's around 30% of the load. So that is a, uh, that's a pretty good squirrel load. All right, so we brought the targets for the Fioki Field Dynamics back up here to the table. Let's get a little better look at them. Let's start with the Stevens 512. Here we have the target for the Stevens 512. We have 52 of 170 pellets on the target. We have plenty of pellets at point of aim. Plenty enough to get the job done. We would have got Mr. Squirrel. And uh, we have about 30% of the total pellets in the 12 inch ring. So that's pretty good performance for the uh, Fioki Field Dynamics out of the Stevens 512. Now, that was not the story for the Remington SPR 210. We're a lot thinner at point of aim. We only have 36 pellets on the target in the 12 inch ring. That is about 20% of the pellets. That's not very good. We may well have still got our squirrel at point of aim. We have some pellets there. 
but um, it definitely would not be my first choice for the Remington SPR 210. But I would have no problems at all using the field key field dynamics with the Stevens 512 and its 585 choke. So the Fioki Field Dynamics, they um were a mixed bag, like so many have been. Um, they did well out of the Stevens 512 with a 585 choke, but they didn't do nearly as well out of the Remington SPR 210 with its 585 choke. So the Stevens performance was was a good performance. We got 30% of load at 30 yards and 12 inch circle. That's really all you can ask for a game load uh, when you're trying to shoot squirrels with it. Uh, the SPR 210, we didn't do nearly as well. We did have pellets at point of aim, but it was awful thin. We would have probably had to take a second shot on the squirrel, or we would have crippled him up and he'd have got away. Squirrels are pretty tough animals, so we don't want to do that. So. There are better choices than the Fioki Field Dynamics for an all-purpose small game load. But out of the Stevens, we wouldn't have no problems. You just going you just have to pattern them and see how they perform out of your own shotgun. So until next time, y'all stay safe in squirrel woods, and God bless.